Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. So as of the moment that I'm recording this, Niche is officially out for early access release on Steam. So if this was a game that you were interested in purchasing and playing for your own, then you can do so right now if you go to Steam. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. Of course, being in early access, it is not technically a full release of the game. There's still a ton of things that they're planning on adding later, like water genes, jungle biomes, prehistoric genes. There's so much that is going to be in Niche's future and I'm so excited to see all of the new things that they're going to be adding soon. But right now, the state of our pack, we actually have a uh, pretty decent bounty of food, at least more than we typically have down here, thanks to the carnivore that we recently slayed. And I feel like we kind of like avenged Adam's soul by uh, defeating that carnivore because that was the one that kind of ambushed him. And unfortunately, it also took down his uh, first daughter, I believe, Mesri, way back here. So that carnivore was definitely a for us, but we have finally vanquished him so we don't have to worry about him for a little while at least until another one decides to spawn and wreak havoc on our little pack. But for now, at least we have some food, at least we have some uh, moves to make as we explore the rest of the world and hopefully find some more berry bushes. I think what I'm going to do today is kind of try to move up this way because there's so much grasslands up here and I feel like we probably have a better chance of finding more berries if we go that way. But um, as far as our new members of the pack, because we had a ton of uh, different things popping out of the grass on us last time, we have Esme right here, little Esme, and it seems like a vast majority of you would like to see Esme bred with Kervanvan, and I think that would be a pretty good idea too. It seems like they would have some pretty uh, beastly babies of their own if they can manage to pass that claw along as well as either the antlers or the ram horns, so I am definitely looking forward to seeing what that is going to produce. It seems like a very safe bet as far as um, the immunity genes go, or wait a second, the immunity genes might be an issue. Look at that, they have the exact same ones. They're just in different places. Oh my goodness, I did not even see that before. So that's quite interesting. I think we will go along with the, this just um, for the sake of seeing what happens. I am almost positive that they're going to end up with a sick baby in that case, or at least a baby that ends up more sick than usual because it seems pretty clear that they are going to pass along um, these immunity genes to their children, but we will see what happens. Of course, um, Karasi is currently sitting on the nest waiting to give birth to her child, her first child, with a Kurta. So that's going to be interesting to see too. I would like to see if they end up getting that berry paw or that toxic body. Someone mentioned that um, Kurta should be like our scout. He should go out and uh, try to find the carnivores just in case he gets ambushed like Adam was. Then he would at least be able to poison the carnivores in the process while they're eating him. So that is a very, very very good idea. And actually, while I was looking at their genes, I noticed that Rossi does have that blue eyes recessive gene slot as well as um, Kurta. So I am quite curious to see what they would produce too. I know they both have the blind eyes recessive trait, so there is the same possibility that they could pass along blind eyes as the blue eyes trait. So this is just going to be like a little experiment, I guess. We'll experiment a little bit today and see what sort of creatures we can uh, come out with. I mean, they could be perfectly fine. They could be the best creatures we've had in our pack so far, so we might as well at least give it a try. I think what I'll do first, though, is take Kurta over here and see what's rustling in this uh, tall grass over here, because if it's another carnivore, we might have a bit of a situation. At least we have food this time, so let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's another spit snow, and it's actually a boy. I don't think I've ever seen a spit snout on a boy before with that mane. Oh my gosh, that scraggly little mane that he has. How cute is that? <laughs> so charming. And his name is Tarovan. Okay. So Tarovan, how are we going to take you into the pack here? You have a claw, which is very good, and a runner leg. So it looks like he's kind of like a warrior here, a little brute. But I guess we'll peek in this grass so we have it available to us as we uh, branch out to the grasslands. I kind of like connecting the territories just so um, our guys don't get lost here. I wonder if this is a bunny. Okay, because this is where the bunnies were before. They were hopping on the shoreline, so we might check that out as well. Um, Kervan Von, I do want you to come over here and breed with Izmi as soon as possible so we can see what their babies are going to look like, if they're going to be okay anyway, because we do have to take a look at the um, immunity genes. So let's give that a try first, 
and we'll see what happens here. And those were bunnies, okay. So let's skip ahead here. We're already running out of food, which is just crazy how fast it seems to go. And now we have two brand new little babies in the pack. So this one's a male, it looks like. Dunku? <laughs> Duck new, actually. Duck new. Okay, that is adorable. He has a big body, too, which is excellent. Okay, and he has antlers, which is also good. So he is going to be yet again another one of those beasts. And it looks like he can also collect two berries at a time because of those double running paws. So that should be very good for us. He's actually a very good one to take out on our scouting missions once he grows up. And now we can look at this one too. This is a girl, Melala. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. And she does have the immunity gene issue, so she is more likely to get sick in the future. But that was one of the risks that we were very aware of. So it looks like Kervan Von and Izmi may not be the best pair just because of those immunity genes. We may have to look into a someone else in the future for them. For now though, at least we have another little uh, baby with the claw. I mean, for as long as she lasts, she'll be pretty good for us. She'll be able to uh, help us take down those carnivores that like to pop out of the uh, of the woods here. So let's grab the berries off of the bushes. Oh, those bunnies. I need to stick somebody down here so they can hopefully snag them. So we'll place, I think, Kervan Van right here so he can hopefully snag the bunnies if they come close enough. And uh, Rota, you are still sitting here, though unfortunately it looks like you are going to be uh, dying very, very soon. Rira is definitely dying in the next turn. I can't imagine that she would last any longer than that. Tarovan, maybe you can help us kind of explore this area a little bit more too. Doesn't look like there's any berry bushes right in the front, which is kind of what I was hoping for because we are getting low on food. Um, and there they go, starting to drop like flies. Poor little Rira, but at least we have a bunny. Okay, Rota, here's like your last chance to show us what you're made of here with with bunny duty and then we will continue along the path here I think let's see we'll keep taking um Tarovan out this way to see if he can find any more of those berries um let's move you right here nope still no berry bushes guys this is a little bit worrying I hate to use him as like another one of those sacrifices too just in case there's something looming out there oh gosh and there goes Rota as well oh that's a little bit unfortunate I think what I will do is move Karasi over there on bunny duty instead. That's probably going to be okay. We'll move her right here so she'll be able to capture any bunnies who happen to hop out of their little burrows. Um, the baby can collect those berries in the meantime. And let's see, Izmi, maybe you should help out this guy. Let's see, how are your genes anyway? You both have the blind eyes, so that might be a problem. We're definitely running into that situation again, just like our last playthrough where so many of our creatures have the blind eyes recessive trait that I'm worried that we're going to have a bunch of uh, blind creatures to deal with. I mean, it's not like a game breaking thing to have one blind creature in your pack. You can certainly work around it, and I know a lot of you were talking about maybe doing a challenge where all of your creatures are blind, and that sounds so fascinating. I would definitely like to hear how that goes if you try that out, but um, I definitely don't want them taking over this pack at this point because we need um, some stronger creatures before we think about that. So I think what I will do is have Kurta and Rossi breed one time before he goes off to help um, our newest member of the pack, Tarovan, try to find some more food for the pack. So we'll bring him over here and skip the turn so that we don't uh, starve our creatures in the meantime. And oh, look at this. I'm so sorry, Kurvanvan, but um, it looks like you're going to have to starve for a moment because we desperately need that bunny. And then I uh, will grab that food as we collect the berries as well. So you can grab that little one and you can help us gather up these berries. There we go. It looks like uh, the bunnies are definitely hopping all around the place too. I have to kind of try my best to keep an eye on them in the meantime. Um, so you can now officially breed with Rossi and we'll see what happens there. We'll see if maybe we end up with a really amazing creature, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Um, and then you can start wandering off into uh, the distance here to try to find us some food, I guess. We do have quite a bit of turns right now, so that's a good sign. We'll kind of clear out the area as well just to, uh, just to connect it with the rest of our territory right now. Um, it's not really doing us very well, but <laughs> at least it's something, I guess. Um, we have one more turn here. Um, the bunnies have not hopped back in this direction, so we don't have another one to swipe just yet. But I will turn the camera so I can keep an eye on those, I suppose. Um, we'll look this way since I see something hopping over there, and then we'll skip the turn yet again. And, oh my goodness, that is not what I expected to see. Really? Really are gonna do this again? <laughs> I was so sure that this spot was completely full of bunnies. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so collect the berries first. That is what we have learned. Collect the berries and then we can get the rabbit. And now, hopefully, someone can, like, swoop in and save the day for per poor, um, Kravan Van, though he is pretty strong. He is definitely strong, so maybe he could, um, actually hold his own over here. It seems like Izmi is probably a little bit stronger, so we might want to bring her down here in the meantime to help out. Um, we just have to get her here in enough turns. And I'm not sure if we have enough. So let's go ahead and attack um, with Kervan Von for now. We'll use up our three turns to attack with him. Um, he's almost done. I mean, Kervan Von is pretty good with his three strength over here. Um, we have one more turn to collect. So that's good. And then we can bring um, Izmi a little bit closer so she can help him out. So let's see. Hopefully he doesn't kill poor Kervan Von. Oh my gosh, two hits. Two hits, guys. Oh, that really shortened his lifespan, didn't it? Oh my gosh, I always feel so bad when that happens. Um, how are you guys doing up there? Just want to make sure. There's something rustling over there, so you better watch out, little spit snout. Let's grab the berries again so we have some turns to use. There we go. And then um, I guess you can officially take this guy out, right? Hopefully that'll be enough. There we go. Okay, and once again, that is a wonderful bounty of food. And look at that, it looks like we may have um, actually unlocked a gene in our mutation board. Let's see. Oh, the claw. Oh my goodness, we unlocked the claw, guys. That is excellent. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to pop that straight in, replacing um, the runner leg because that would be a very, very good thing to keep on our creatures, along with that berry paw, but unfortunately we don't have that gene yet. So just to kind of breed the claw in a little bit more in our pack at the moment, I think um, that's probably a good decision, especially as we go around trying to find more food. And don't mind if I do, little bunny, I will certainly take you. Okay, so there we go. We're finally getting somewhere, guys. Now, since we have all this food, we can officially move Rossi over to the nest so she can give birth in her next turn. And then why don't we use some of our other turns to continue exploring over here? So again, I want to kind of connect this territory so people can, uh, well, people, <laughs> so our little creatures can uh, move freely through the grass here. That's probably a good way to play it. And um, we'll continue along this way to see if we can find any more bushes. I mean, it seems strange that there's so few berry bushes around here. It seemed like there were definitely a lot more in um, the previous versions of the game. But I guess, I guess we're doing all right. I mean, we're struggling along, just beating as many of those carnivores as we possibly can. So why don't you peek in that grass right there in the meantime? Um, your baby can stay right by the bush so she can continue collecting the berries. And let's see, Izmi, we still need to find someone proper to um, actually breed you with who doesn't have that immunity gene problem, it looks like. And you know, this guy, Ducknu, might be just the one looking at his genes. He has normal eyes, he has a um, toxic body in his recessive, so maybe we'd end up getting that. The big body has a dominant trait, which is excellent to see, and of course the immunity genes are completely different. So actually, Ducknu, we might wait until uh, you grow up. Hopefully it's very soon, hopefully before she um, passes away, and then we'll see what you guys can produce. I think that would be a good idea. But right now we're gonna go ahead and skip the turn again because all of our uh, scouts up there are currently out of a turn. And oh my goodness, oh, okay, yep, there's another blind baby. So unfortunately we didn't have the best of luck. Rotaku here, um, he actually has the blue eyes though. Look at that, he has the blue eyes, but unfortunately we can't see them because he's blind. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? We actually managed Managed to get the blue eyes and we can't really see them and you know you could take your paw out of his eyes that's probably not really helping the situation um, but there we go at least uh, he has big ears as a recessive trait too which is quite adorable and I mean it is cute it is cute I know a lot of you oh, there we go. <laughs> I know a lot of you were saying that the uh, blind eyes were adorable, and I think so too. Like, there's just something about them that's very mystical and charming. Kind of like the spit snout over there. Not quite as mystical, but very, very charming nonetheless. So not very lucky with that breeding, but um, at least it's something. Something different to bring into our little uh, gene pool at the moment. So of course, collect our lone two berries over here, and then I think think we're going to continue exploring this way. Um, I guess we'll continue bringing Kurta along with our spit snout individual. Um, we'll go ahead and look in this grass and peer around here. 
That doesn't seem to be helping very much though, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a berry bush. Yes, finally, guys. Let's grab that berry. Okay, so we can peer into that grass pretty soon, too. Our scouts finally managed to find a berry bush for us. Thank goodness. And there's something rustling over there, too. I think I might bring some of our fighters closer to uh, that direction so they can help us out if need be. Um, I think, Kervon Von, you should probably go there too, just in case, guys, just in case it's a carnivore. And there we go, you have already grown up! I'm actually surprised, that seemed to take um, a little bit less time than usual. You need to grab that bunny though, we are not going to miss the bunny, there we go. And then, I guess, um, we want to have you move out of the nest so that she can move into the nest. We're going to give this a try. We're going to see what happens um, with these two right here. So there we go. You can breed with him um, and starve, apparently. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I always lose track of the food at the worst of times. Um, we'll see what they produce, though. That should be um, quite interesting to see. We'll grab these berries over here. Hopefully, there we go. And um, then we'll peek in this grass over here and grab some more berries as well. Um, there's something rustling over there though, and I have a feeling it's probably a bunny because they do like to eat the berries. So there's probably a pretty good chance that the bunnies are hopping around in this area right now. Um, I might actually move you right here so you can really uh, get a good look at all of the grass in the area and hopefully grab any bunnies who are there. But of course, we're out of turns yet again. So let's see what happens here. Let's see. What sort of baby did you create? Look at that. Rodukvan. <laughs> Some of these names, guys. They have ram horns, a normal body with, again, the toxic body is a recessive trait. So we are definitely passing that, that along um, recessively, it seems. They're not exactly getting it themselves, but at least it's in the line still. Um, and it looks like, it looks like they're pretty uh, well-rounded yet again. Very, very strong, which is good to see. So they should be able to help us with those carnivore situations. And they don't have the blind eyes and the recessives, so we don't have to worry about that. And we might be able to actually breed those blue eyes a little bit easier since um, we don't have to worry about the blind eyes so much. So let's go ahead and move our spit snout right here because I have a feeling the bunnies are just hopping like in and out of this area. And right now we can see literally every single tile that surrounds the berry bush. So I don't think they're going to be able to like sneak off with any of our hard earned berries here. Um, we're out of food again, so we'll just skip ahead in the turns and see if anything pops out. <laughs> I'm so worried that one of those carnivores is going to ambush me again after poor Adam had that situation. So once again, those berries. It doesn't look like any of the bunnies popped out, unfortunately. So we have to go with the berries for now. Actually, I think what we might want to do is breed Izmi once more. Um, she is getting a little bit old. Actually, I don't know if she'll even last through uh, the childbirth in this case. We'll move her baby out of the nest and then we'll give it a try, but she might end up passing away before she can uh, give birth to her next child. So we'll just have to see what happens here. Let's see. Um, oh, just in time and it rained. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. And we are getting that claw again, which is excellent. So the mutation board must certainly be working. Um, nothing wrong with this guy. In fact, he has um, the claw. He has those blue eyes yet again in his recessive traits, which is excellent to see. Um, it seems like we will probably be able to pass that along on our own at some point. And um, I'm going to gather the berries first before I grab that bunny so poor Karasi does not starve while she's slicing the guy. So let's see, let's grab these berries. Oh my goodness, Kervan Bun, it looks like you're going to be passing away in the next turn, which is a little bit sad. Grab the bunny. And then we'll continue picking the berries with these guys over here. It looks like um, Duck New can actually collect more at once. So we'll go ahead and grab those with him and that clears off of that bush. Then we can grab the berries with you for now, I suppose, though it looks like uh, Rossi is actually also a little bit better at collecting, so we'll have her do it instead. You, however, can go back here and yes, Take a look at this carnivore. Okay, I had a feeling that's what that was. And this is perfect because Malala is very, very strong. So she should be able to just slice this guy away, hopefully. Um, let's see, yeah, he's almost done. Maybe if we could bring just like one more guy up here to finish the job. 
Hopefully, are any of you able to uh, do that? Let's see. You only have two more turns. Izmi, unfortunately, can't move too far, so that's not exactly going to work. Oh my goodness. So maybe um, you are actually going to have to take one for the team. You're probably going to get hit just once by this carnivore, hopefully. But um, we can grab the berries off of this bush as well. I don't want to forget these. And luckily, Kurta is very good at collecting berries, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. There we go. And then uh, you might as well peek around in the grass in the meantime because we have so many turns now. We definitely have a lot of food since we found that little berry bush over there as well. So let's see, I guess we're just going to have to skip the turn ahead here because we can't really move any of these guys close enough to the carnivore to uh, properly destroy him before um, the next turn ticks over. So let's see, let's see what happens. Um, oh my gosh, all of these creatures dying of old age all at once, wow, okay. Well, let's take care of this carnivore at least. There we go, and we can grab his meat and look at all of the food that we're going to have now, guys. We are finally doing well for ourselves. We have all of these berries to pick, we unfortunately have a lot of carcasses lying around right now, a lot of uh, different skeletons, but hopefully this is a good sign. I see all of this rustling grass, which makes me a little bit nervous, but we have so many strong creatures in the pack now that I feel like we're probably going to be okay. We're probably on the right track, but in the next episode, I feel like we'll definitely need to explore a little bit more in the world, especially with all of these turns that we now have to use. We need to find more of those bushes so that when we have big rainfalls like this, we'll be able to collect a whole bunch of berries at once, and I think I think um, we are really running low on females, it looks like. We have Rossi here, we have Malala, who will probably need to take on one of these as um, their mates. Maybe, I mean, I know Malala is the one who is more likely to get sick, but she is very, very strong. So, I mean, other than the fact that her immunity genes are a little bit weaker than most. So maybe we could try breeding her with Ducknu. We'll see what happens there. And it would also be nice to maybe try breeding like Kurta one more time before he gets too old. But we'll definitely search in the grass a little bit more for some more um, pack mates, hopefully of the female variety so we don't run out of those. But thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!